Ms. Connors, to what extent are your school's potential death traps because of the fact that you have banned, to some extent, firearms from the grounds? For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit LRN.FM. <laughs> Ms. Langdon, question. Uh, to what extent are your school's potential death traps because of the fact that you guys have sort of discouraged people from arming themselves and defending the kids? Well, the... Um... Pardon? Have what? Ms. Connors, to what extent are your school's potential death traps because of the fact that you have banned, to some extent, firearms from the grounds? How are people supposed to defend themselves if something crazy happens? Again, Mr. Ryan, did you really tell the school board the school board that they have to pass your curriculum before they can read it? Terry, sorry to interrupt. I know you're probably talking, but I got a question or two for you. Most people don't answer questions around here. <laughs> uh, what is it? Why so many? Uh, it seems like there's a lot of closed meetings. Leaving under protest. So we have like an airlock to keep the media from hearing what's going on here. Remember Dave would be closing the doors on us. Uh, every other time I'm here, it seems like there's a closed meeting. And I... Every night. Um, yeah. So certain, it, it's governed by law. So certain things, if you're talking about like contracts, especially like, a, let's say a real estate contract, you're going to buy a piece of property and you're going to say, well, we're going to spend so much or so little, you wouldn't want the other side to know what you're going to spend. So something that's of a confidential nature, or let's say you're going to negotiate a contract in our situation with the teachers. You say, okay, we're, we're going to pay so much money or we want to make these changes to health care costs, you know, you, you don't want to give your side away, you want it to be confidential. Uh, the other thing is uh, when we're discussing uh, personnel issues, we, you know, we might be happy with somebody, of course we'd probably put that out in the thing, but if we're un unhappy with somebody, again, that's something that we, by law, that we, we can, uh, we want to keep it out of the public eye, we don't want to be sued. But if the public's or, paying for it, shouldn't the public be able to see all of it? Much of it comes out, like for instance, in the contract issue, that'll come out at some point after it's been ratified and voted. But on. the firing of Mary McGorry, we still don't know why that. We don't even know why she was fired. I don't even know either because yeah. I wasn't here. <laughs> some of the board was kept in the dark. Yeah. Uh, uh, I believe that, and I remember the attorney threatened to sue us. Well, sue the prior board, but certain things. But you wouldn't you agree? Let's say you're going to buy a house. I don't know. Do you own a house? Oh uh, no. But I'll own one when I'm allowed to. Okay. The, well, right now in America, you're not allowed to own one. You can only rent. But let's say you're going <laughs> to buy the government. a house. Or let's say you <laughs> wanted a job and you say, well, okay, I'm gonna, I'll settle for $20 an hour, but I'm asking for 40 If the other side knew you'd settle for 20 then they'd go, well, let's offer him $20 an hour. Screw it. Who cares if he's offering us 40 Well, the difference is that if I was forcing the taxpayers to pay for everything I was doing, then it would all be their business. No, but because in the end, it'll come out because with, with the... I believe it's the three items. Uh, contract negotiations, personnel issues, I can't remember the third thing. So under law, we can keep that confidential temporarily, but in the end, after we vote on the, the contract issue. I, and actually, I was just talking to the uh, yeah, clerk right, tonight that yeah. sometimes we have to give papers back. I said, because if they're confidential, I have to give back to them. So I said to her, I said, more do I, do I need to give you papers? She said, no, because the, 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 the personnel issue, which was... She goes, that's going to become public information immediately because you took a vote. So that, the thing that I saw that we talked about in the, um, the meeting is now a public document and, and that'll be released, she 
said, well, I don't think it's going to be released tonight, but tomorrow it'll be public information. But like, let's say we have a contract negotiation that's still going on, that once the contract's ratified, then it becomes public knowledge. So you will see it, but just we don't want to force our hand away because we'd be at a disadvantage if we did that. Okay. But what was your other question? I think that was it. No, I thought you did multiple questions. Well, I have multiple questions, but I've asked everybody else oh. all the other questions, okay. and um, uh, this is the main one that I had for you. So, but yeah, that's yeah. that's the, the big thing, and there might be a third thing, but it's definitely personnel matters in contracts. <coughs> okay. And but, in, but 90 something percent of the stuff becomes public information in the future right. once it's been settled upon. Okay. Well, I appreciate at least getting, you know, your thoughts on something. Uh, you know, I think there's a memo that's gone around not to talk to me, so no, I appreciate I you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I mean, I'm speaking figuratively. Oh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> no, they, People that, don't know that if they stop and talk, they usually do okay. They uh, ignore me and the viewers get outraged. So, uh, all 20,000 of them. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thanks, Mr. Terry. Yeah, you take care. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.